Hi, my name is Jeff Jones and I'm with Top Gallant Partners. What I'd like to do today is demonstrate to you a uh, denial of service attack that will affect uh, web servers running uh, a certain version or a couple versions of Apache. Uh, it's a down denial of service attack. What it does is it fills the memory and um, slows the CPU process or clogs the CPU process uh, on the server. What eventually happens is the server um, tends to basically freeze up and so not only is the application itself gone but uh, the whole box, the whole server is going to have to be reboot, rebooted to to fix the problem. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Once again, the reason that we uh, show these types of videos is not to teach people how to hack. It's to show you how easy it is for a hacker to come in and disrupt your network. Now there's really only one way to mitigate this and that's by uh, using uh, vulnerability scanning and uh, doing mitigation which we can we can help you with. So go ahead and watch this video. I'm going to go through it pretty quickly but if you got any questions you can always call us back. I am limited on Google or I'm sorry on YouTube to 15 minutes so uh, so I'm going to go pretty quickly. So first of all let's get started. Let me show you the setup. Okay the setups pretty much the same as always. Uh, we've got a, a victim uh, Apache web server here and then we have um, our exploit uh, and vulnerability server and I'm going to um, both HTTP into that and, and uh, SSH into this server to uh, run my attacks and my scan. So let me get that going and let's start out with the uh, setting up Apache um, on the server. Okay, so I'm uh, I just opened up a secure shell uh, onto my uh, my Linux server, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and load up Apache 2, install it. So do an app, get install. Now most people do sudo. Uh, I just went ahead and do sudo minus s, so I became the administrator. I got the administrative prompt. So uh, let's do an app get install. Looks good. Let's uh, make sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I did app get <laughs> install Apache 2. There we go. I don't know what I was doing. Just app get install. I just wanted to install something. So. Let's go ahead and make sure it's there. Let's uh, cd to var www. It's the default spot. Do an ls. And there's our index page. So our main web page. So let's go ahead and test that. Let's go to this. 192. As you can see, I've done this a couple times. Now let's try again. Okay, so. Um, that that first was was basically I think it was just cached, so um, it says it works. So we are at our default web page, so everything works peachy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to we're gonna go over to uh, the the Metasploit server now, and we're gonna do the Apache killer. And um, so what I've done is I brought up the web page uh, with the Apache killer. What it is is uh, ca cause a denial of service, uh, memory and CPU consumption. So it eats all the CPU up in memory and freezes up the box in the application. So let's just see what we got to do to make this happen. Use auxiliary DOS. HTTP. Okay, so I've got Metasploit uh, framework is set up. Use 
auxiliary DOS uh, HTTP Apache range DOS okay so now what we gotta do is uh, let me do a set on this and see where okay so I actually came in here before and set some of the stuff up but one thing one of the things I did uh, what as I set the R host so the uh, device we're gonna attack and then um, also uh, the rate limit or, I'm sorry the remote R limit basically the amount of denial services that I'm gonna send so I'll, I'm, I'm even gonna crank this up a little bit more so I'm gonna set it uh, R limit up to let's make it a thousand and let's go ahead and run that hit run okay so it looks like it stopped at 106 uh, slow down a little bit so it's probably uh, going ahead and, and eating up packets right now so what you can tell on this is when it, when it slows down or something really the the processes are are almost stopping on um, on the server itself so let's go back in and let's check out the server okay so we're looking at the a screenshot of the server it's running v, it's running on VM and you can see uh, there's really no motion here on the screensaver this is supposed to be twirling around and it's not so that's frozen now let's go ahead there we got a little bit of movement and it sticks a little bit and so let's go here and look at um, this is a server as far as from a terminal aspect it's locked up on me now it might, it might give a little bit it's not giving at all so I don't know if you can hear in the background but I am clicking on it um, and I'm not getting anything back so let's go ahead and take a look at our web page Okay, so 192.168.1.21. Okay, so that says it works, but I'm thinking maybe this was cached like the first time we saw. Let's hit enter and let's see what happens. So it's waiting on 192.168.1.21. That may take a minute. Let's see how we're doing on time. Oops, sorry about that. Let's go back to Okay, it's still thinking. Let's see if we can get it on something else. Let's let's try uh, let's try Google. I'm sorry, Chrome. Chrome sticking also. Okay, so we're definitely in a denial of service situation here. So I guess the thing is, is that um, what I've done very quickly, and the reason I'm really ha I have to I have to be quick, is that uh, I'm limited only 15 minutes of time. So that really ends the demo. Uh, real quickly uh, it's out there we see a lot of people with this version or these these versions of Apache web server um, and just to let you know that it's something um, that can bring bring down the box it couldn't find it can bring down your web server um, if you're in business and that's your livelihood or even some of your some of your livelihood or you do some sort of something with uh, with the internet as far as people logging on getting information that sort of thing this is going to put you out of business this is going to be a really hard thing to find so really the only way to fix it is to do a vulnerability test so with that thank you very much and uh, remember if you need us uh, we are on the web at www.topgallant-partners.com and uh, you can also reach us or email us through 
our internet site. So thank you very much and have a great day.